Hi everyone. Welcome to Linda's Creative Life. It is a Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I just kind of hung around the house and worked a little bit in my craft room, a little organizing. I made a huge mess doing it, but I've been going through things and I just had a pretty good weekend. So mom and I were just kind of quiet. It was raining yesterday, so we didn't do anything. So I am here to share with you some stuff I received from Melody Made. One is a bingo that I won a few weeks ago, and the other is a de-stash. And I had asked her to just give me some vintage and Paris de-stash uh, when Mimi was there helping her to go through and organize some of her crafting supplies. And I'm so excited to share with you what I got. So here we go. So this was my um, bingo, and it was just a bag of some different kinds of ephemera, and I don't even remember exactly what the description was, but I got some napkins. I love them. Those are so cute. I am really going to have to do some... Um, collaging with napkins here. Look at how pretty these are. Let me just try to get that a little closer. There we go. Oops. Look at this one. <laughs> Fabulous. What is that? I can't even see. Oh. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. And then that. And then some big ones. Look at this flamingo. And then that flamingo. <laughs> you think I like flamingos? You think they know? And then these are so pretty. The bird. I love it. Butterfly. And it's got some pretty flowers on it. There's one of the other sides. Oh, these are gorgeous. This is Maison Blanc, which is French. <laughs> And this one is so pretty. Look at the colors. Oh my goodness. And then, ooh, I like this one. That's very modern looking. And then I got some vintage book pages, some guest tickets, and some envelopes, envelopes and guest tickets. And I can learn how to do some tea or coffee dyeing because I still haven't done that yet. <laughs> Some little tiny envelopes. I love those. Some old Rolodex. Um, old Rolodex pieces. And, um, ooh, some really big envelopes. Those are great for making journals and stuff. So that was my bingo win. And thank you so much, Melody. I love it. So she sent me just so many things. Um, I'm going to just give you a, hear all that rustling, <laughs> give you a quick look at some of the stuff she sent me. So, um, she and Mimi both picked out some stuff for me. And the first thing that she sent was this, uh, Paris journal. I love it. I love these books. And this one is so cute. It's lined and it has the Eiffel Tower on it, which you know, it's about my favorite thing. Oh, there was a, there was a napkin in there. Oh, look at that. Yay, I'll add that to the napkins. So I just love that. And these two, um, they feel sort of like placemat or something. Aren't they cool? There's two of these. So I think it might have been a placemat which is so awesome. This would make a fabulous cover for a journal. A bunch of napkins. I am not gonna go through all of them, but several had um, Paris and um, Eiffel Tower on them. This has to be one of my favorites with the macarons. And then Chateau Bistro. I'll just show you the Paris ones real quick. And anyway, there was a lovely stack of them so I am excited and I will add those to the ones she sent me before I have some napkins she sent me some fabrics um 
just some laces and some different fabrics that are going to, I don't really have a lot of fabrics like this. My mom, who has a small um, fabric shop in her, in her craft room, because she used to be a quilter, um, <clears throat> but most of them are cottons. So these are some really interesting different fabrics and laces. Ooh, look at these, how pretty. So this is gonna be fun to play with. So she sent me that. And this is so sweet. I This would make a really pretty journal or something. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love the old needlework. Okay, let me put that to the side. She sent me several of these awesome um, Norman Rockwell pages. And, um, gosh, they're so big. I'm not sure what I will do with them. Maybe fussy cut out part of it and, uh, make some sort of, of, um, journal. But she sent me quite a few pages of those. Those are beautiful. Um, these pages I'm going to just share with you really quick. There's some old, pa some pages of old fashioned dresses, bustles and puffs. It came from a book. Oh, look at this. I love it. These are gonna be so fun to add into a journal or cut out. So those pages, an automobile ad. Which I'm sure it's a reprint, but the paper is really nice. So that'll be fun. Some different kinds of paper, again, for me to, pay, to learn to dye. I'm so excited awesome bag, a couple of vintage books, so I can do stuff with um, just those pages are really great. Um, a little bag of clips, a bag of some um, jewelry pieces, and some other clips, and um, those would be fun to work with charms. This headband, which I'm hoping to turn into a uh, belly band for a, uh, a journal, because wouldn't that be perfect for a really cool black and white journal? This adorable golden book. Look at it. The fuzzy duckling. Oh, I love it. Um, I'm going to work on the other one before I do something with this one. <clears throat> but this is printed in 1980. Oh my gosh, that was right after um, Ashley was born and right before Sarah was born. So this is, you know, 40 something years old. <laughs> I love it. That is great. Some more papers. I don't want to show them all to you. They're just papers, 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 and envelopes. Oh my gosh, she, she fixed me up. Some more um, guest cards and some um what was that game called? Oh my gosh. Or you, you remember, I can't remember. What's it called? It doesn't say, but anyway, these are from the 1960s. Look at that. They'll be fun too. And Trivial Pursuit. That was what it was. We played that. I didn't do very well. I didn't have a great memory. I still don't. It's gotten worse. Some library cards, Some more guest checks. These time cards. Now, I used to have to clock in and out at a couple of different jobs I had, and I definitely used these time cards, and I was horrible about <laughs> lining it up. <laughs> some, I like the way she took this library card and made it with some ribbon on it. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. Cat! That is so adorable. And just some some cute little postcards and some various little cards. Just so many things for mixed media. And oh, these are so great. Oh, another kitty cat card. And some envelopes. And let's see. And this was some paper that was in there. I love it. And then I think she sent me some, um, some, some punches, this really fun corner punch, and a tree punch, 
And then she sent me two um, edge punches, and this one I really like. And the other one has really been hard for me to use, and I put it in the kitchen to try to um, make it sharper. <laughs> I knew I'd get it out. I think that's everything except this little tin. Isn't that adorable? And it was some postcards. And it opens up like this, so I love it. Here's two um, Paris, Disney Paris little cards. And then there's some postcards, and these are just beautiful. Look at those. Oh, these are going to be so fun in my journal. And, um, oh, look at that. These are vintage looking. I, I imagine that they're you know, reprints from some older ones. And then I'll add my, oh, so pretty. And then I will add my, um, my new ones that I got when I went to Paris. So I know I talked fast and I ran through it all, but I wanted to share with you. So I have a lot of stuff to use in, um, future junk journals and vintage shabby chic, um, definitely have to figure out. Um, I'm going to look at some YouTube videos about using um, napkins and decoupage and come up with some great ideas. I've done it a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm so excited now. Anyway, now my desk is covered again, but I am so blessed. So thank you so much, Melody and Mimi for helping. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'm hoping to go back to Hobby Lobby tomorrow, so fingers crossed I get those inks. Maybe they finally marked them down, and maybe there's some still there. We will see. Talk to you soon. Bye now.